I've been looking all over for you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What exactly were you starting without me now? Look who's showing up, everybody. Deal him in, would you, Ruffles? I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Seeker, remember how I said, don't show anyone your hand? That rule includes announcing it to the table. There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit for me. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home. Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? I'm in. I'm raising another silver. <laughs> you haven't even looked at your cards. Well, our illustrious leader is betting we're bluffing. You are bluffing. ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. I've got one for you. Firstly, my aunt is known across the free marches for her love of Antivan opera. So, of course, when a performance of the murder of Queen Madrigal opened, she made us all attend. My aunt refused to speak to me for three months. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. <laughs> that was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I've figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. Say a word, dwarf. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. You won the whole pot. I knew you could do it, my love. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. 
Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Thank you.